guys you welcome back hope you guys are doing great so guys we're gonna be checking out this video titled who is Ali Amal Ali Hamwada so let's watch guys who is Allah we want to refresh our iman we want to be attached to our creator we want to fear nobody but him we want to please none other than him so who is Allah come with me to Surah Al Hadid, chapter 57 of the Quran, where Allah He says, introducing Himself to us. Hmm. He is Allah who has the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. Hmm. He alone is the one who gives life and death. And He is able to do whatever He wishes. Hmm. Everything in the heavens and the earth glorify Allah and He is the most mighty, the most wise. Ya Allah, do you know anybody who shares even one of these characteristics with Allah? Who is Allah? Come with me to chapter 6 of the Quran, Surah Al An'am. Allah says, وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّا هُ He has the keys to the unseen. No one knows them except him. وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ And he knows everything that is on land and everything that is within the sea. وَمَا تَسْقُطُ مِنْ وَرَقَةٍ إِلَّا يَعْلَمُهَا And there isn't a single leaf that falls from any tree except that Allah has knowledge of it. وَلَا حَبَّةٍ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ الْأَرْضِ and there isn't even a grain within the darknesses of the land. Nor is there anything moist or anything that is solid. Except that Allah has knowledge of it. It is written within a clear record. La ilaha illallah. Bring to your attention, dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the description of just one of Allah Almighty's creation. He is an angel. The chief of the angels, Angel Jibra'il alayhi salatu wasalam, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam saw him in his true angelic form. Ahmed narrates in his Musnad that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, the companion, he said, Ra'a Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam jirila fi suratih. Ra'a Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam jibreela ala suratih. Lahu sittu mi'ati janahin kullu janahin minha qad sadda al-ufuq. يسقط من جناحه من التهاويل والدر والياقوت ما الله به عليم. He says the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم saw Angel Jibril in his true angelic form, and he had no less than six hundred wings, and every one of those wings was huge enough to fill the horizon and cover the sky. One wing spread out covers every cloud. Covers every star, covers the sun and the moon, covers every inch of that blue sky that we see. One wing. What then can you make of 600 wings? Uh. And if this is the majesty of just one of Allah Almighty's creation, what then can you make of the beauty and the majesty of the Creator Himself? La ilaha illallah. I bring to your attention, dear brothers and sisters, yet a second creation from Allah Almighty. This is the description of one of the angels who are carrying the throne of Allah. Abi Dawood narrates in his sunan on the authority of Jabir that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أُذِنَ لِي أَنْ أُحَدِّثَ عَنْ مَلَكٍ مِنْ مَلَائِكَةِ اللَّهِ مِنْ حَمَلَةِ الْعَرْشِ مَا بَيْنَ شَحْمَةِ أُذُنِهِ وَعَاتِقِهِ مَسِيرَةُ سَبْعِمِئَةِ عَامِ He said alayhi salatu wa sallam, Allah has given me permission. To give you, O Muslims, a description of just one of the angels that are carrying the throne of Allah. Huh. He said the distance between his earlobe and his shoulder is the distance of 700 years worth of travel. If that is the distance between his ear and his shoulder, a hand span of a distance for us human beings, what then about the size of the rest of this angel? What then about the enormity of the rest of his body? If this is the size of one of the angels who are carrying the throne of Allah, what then about the enormity of the throne of Allah itself? And if this is the size of the throne of Allah, what then about the Lord, the Lord and the King of the throne? Allah asks, Alam tara anna Allah yasjudu lahu man fi samawati wa man fi al-ard? Don't you see, O oh people, 
that everything in the heavens and the earth prostrates to Allah. وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ And so does the sun and so does the moon. وَالنُّجُومُ وَالْجِبَالُ And so do the stars and so do the mountains. وَالشَّجَرُ وَالدَّوَابُ And so do the trees and so do the moving creatures. وَكَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ And so do many people. وَكَثِيرٌ حَقَّ عَلَيْهِ الْعَذَابِ And many people will be punished, Ya Allah. Isn't that amazing? From all of creation that's in existence, they are all in submission, all in sujood to Allah, whether we see it or realize it or not. And the only exception is a minority who happened to be from the weakest of all creation. He is man. He and the jinn, they refuse to prostrate to Allah. Wow. Wow. This is beautiful. I love the... You know, the description of Hala, you know, talking about the angel Jibreel, the 600 beings, how powerful Allah is, what Allah can do, what he has been doing, and him, you know, also quoting it from the Bible, um, also quoting it, him, okay, him also quoting it from the Quran, you know, the, the muhala is his description is mind blowing is powerful is really really beyond words like god is really great like wow wow no matter how i describe him like it's not enough because god is who he is he is like he's just he's just beyond words like we can all describe him but we cannot really know how he is like it's just so marvelous like wow beautiful this was really beautiful to watch and i was wow 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 mind-blowing i was really really you know connected to the old you know explanation the way he was saying it with her zeal you no know, the way he was talking about Allah like as if he's his you know earthly father you understand like it's just beautiful to watch and know how marvelous God is thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment I'll see you in the next one bye